Hi everyone, this is Kanna Babu. This is part six, uh, 7 of jQuery. In this video, we will discuss about functions in jQuery. So generally, we already know about function. Function is a subprogram which is used to perform a specific operation. And the function will get executed when we call it. Function main purpose is to write some logic. Is it clear? So what is a function generally? In JavaScript, we have functions. Right? Functions are, function is a subprogram. Is it clear? Function is a subprogram which is used to perform a specific operation, which is used to perform a specific operation. So, single function is used to perform single operation. Is it clear? Single function is used to perform single operation. Is it clear? So, function will get executed when we call it. Is it clear? Function will get executed will get executed when we call it okay basically functions are basically divided into two types functions are divided into three types actually okay na? one is named functions other one is anonymous functions other one is anonymous functions very powerful functions this one named functions anonymous functions another one is arrow functions another one is arrow functions okay na? so we, we already know about what is a named function named function means creating the function with some name named function means creating a function with some name is called as a named function okay na? syntax to declare the function is function here you can write function name okay function here you can mention what function name here bracket open bracket close Okay, na? and here inside that function we have to write some what logic. Inside the function we have to write some logic. And the syntax to call the function. This is the syntax to declare the function. Two steps are there. One is to declare the function. Other one is to call the function. Invoke the function. Syntax to declare the function. And here syntax to call the function. Call the function. Okay. So the syntax to call the function is function name of is it clear so let us see here for example i will declare one function function some add here i'll try to pass some input x comma y and here bracket open bracket close here i'll try to print one statement document dot write or uh, in java script of x plus y so this is one function function is used to perform a specific operation so i'll try to call the function add of 6 comma 3 something like this now here it is always now function will get executed when we call it it is always recommended to declare the function in header tag see here and calling of the function in body tag just this is javascript functions i am discussing so here i will try to declare one script tag script type is equal to text slash javascript within this i will declare one function the name of the function I'll give as add. Here I'll try to pass x comma y. Just two parameters inputs I'll pass. Because dynamically if you want to pass any input you have to give parameters. And here if I want I will uh, simply print one statement document dot write. Document dot write off. Here I'll try to print x plus y. And I'll try to call the function. Directly calling of the function I will do in body. Otherwise you can... Uh, Directly write this code in uh, body only, both declaration and calling also. So that it is easy for us. Now within the script tag, I will call the function add of 6, 3. Now here you can press F5 and once check the output. And then these are called as a named function. Declaring the function with some name is called as a named function. Function will get executed when we call it. Here you got the answer 9 if you observe. Did you understand? So here some students are asking what are static values and dynamic values. Static values means fixed values. Here you see this program and this program. What is the difference between uh, this first program? In the first program the input values are fixed 10 and 20. So how many times you will execute the program? Every time you will get the same output. But in the second program I am passing the dynamic values. For example here you see I have one design something like this. Enter first number enter second number i have designed some html form uh, with some uh, text boxes and here i kept some add button 
so now dynamic values so who will interact with this screen end user so end user will give the input some 20 and here he will give some 10 and click on add button so whenever user clicks on this add button then i want to invoke this function at runtime then there is a mediator between this button and function that is nothing but event that nothing but what event so here what happened in javascript you have some events are there the default event is on click event and whenever a user clicks on button an event will fire event will in invoke the function so events are used to invoke the functions at runtime because generally function will get invoked when we call it function will get executed when we call it but here in this scenario what happened function will get invoked depending on the user interaction and a end user will click on that button then the function must get executed so and a function invocation will done at runtime did you understood so if, if developer will uh, at the time of developing the application uh, developer will call the function then only function will get executed but in this scenario function will get executed depending on the user interaction for example you will go to atm you press one button cash withdrawal that function will execute deposit that is one function check mini statement that is one function balance and query that is one function one one button is one one function you take gmail login that is one when user clicks on login internally one function will execute register update save inbox internally some logic will be there that is the reason one function can serve only one logic don't write multiple logics in a single function don't write multiple logics in a single function if you write multiple logics in a single function all the logics will get executed is it clear so this is a static values this is dynamic values and here what to do whenever user clicks on what here for example one button button means what let us assume i will take one button input type is equal to button or simply you can write button it will work and uh, here i will try to give some value value is equal to some add i will give and here i will write something like on click on click is equal to f1 off uh, so actually dynamic values means here no need to pass parameters in this example just internally only you can write the values at runtime if you want to catch the values means you can catch like this document dot get element by id this is javascript code of t1 dot value it is used to catch the values at runtime are you following in some of latest frameworks like angular and everything directly parameters will be there you can catch the values through parameters also are you following so what i am telling function is used to perform a specific operation function will get executed when we call it two steps are there declare the function and call the function did you understood everyone if you want to do the same program i will show you here you see the same program i will show you here i will try to do the design always you can do the design in html enter first number here i'll try to take one text box input type is equal to text okay na? and here i'll try to give some id id is equal to t1 and uh, here i'll try to throw the cursor to the next line and here i'll try to enter something i'm talking about uh, named functions enter second number enter second number input type is equal to text id is equal to t2 and here what to do here i will try to take one button input type is equal to submit or normal button you can take and here you can give some id id is equal to b1 here you can give value is equal to add and here i will try to uh, declare within the head tag i will try to open one script so type is equal to text slash javascript text slash javascript and here i'll try to declare one function the name of the function i'll give as add now i want to catch the values at runtime here i'll try to write so here this is my design actually here I add button I on click add i have given this is my function here i'll try to take one form tag id okay here i'll try to close the form tag now let us see whenever okay right so here i will try to debug my program here you can see so this function will execute when user clicks on the button 
and dynamically at runtime the function must get executed then you can invoke by using event events are used to invoke the function at runtime but here the problem is there because in javascript uh, generally by default the text box will accept the data in the form of string so if you want to convert string to integer you have to use eval function eval is a predefined function available in javascript in uh, uh, jquery again the total functions will be different again in jquery you have parse functions are there these all will discuss type casting and everything click on add button so here you will get the output what happened what happened eval spelling missing okay okay now nah? here i will try to again debug restart okay here if i enter the values 12 and here if i enter the value 10 here the sum is 22 it is working this is how you can work with named functions okay now nah? so in this video session 7 we discussed about functions in javascript i told functions are of three types one is a named function, other one is anonymous function, another one is arrow functions. In the next video, we will discuss about anonymous function. For more videos, try to subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon for more updates. Thank you. Have a nice day.